All right, had to do some emergency HVAC repair. Had a um, burned up motor. The motor was 240 or 220 or 240, 220. Um, and it burned up, so I had to do some rewiring. I have a lot of these um, 120 volt motors, so. Um, um, what I ended up doing was, uh, basically this is a furnace slash uh, AC unit. Um, just basically bypassing this uh, um, board right here with the two lugs where the 220 comes in. This was the original um, double 60. Um, I had a... a double 30 in here or something like that but I changed it to a single pole 30 so um, I was unsuccessful at, at using the old uh, relay going through all that stuff so uh, you know without the you know of course I'm gonna have to change this back when I need to use heat but right now for AC it's you know it's in the hundreds around here and it's really hot so um, I went with this more simpler, um, just, uh, a two signal in and, um, and then the, uh, this goes to the motor and then this is hot. Um, and I went, uh, bypass that, so, uh. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put these back up on, uh, mount them back up on there, and uh, have this 24 4 volt, 24 volt uh, power supply here. I just did the wipes uh, going over to the motor. Just have it hooked into the high, uh, but this is on the com part, um, and then we have our are black and I have that tied in with the hot that goes to the relay for the fan and uh, it works like it should comes on um, when uh, you know it, it functions as it should and you just turn the fan on it comes on and um, when you have it on auto it cycles on and off like it should um, Just uh, put it kind of put it back so I can close all these these things.